The Great Smoky Mountains National Park continues to set visitation records. Park leaders say 14.1 million people went to the park last year, beating the old attendance record by more than a million. You can see that number. It's steadily grown over the past decade. But with that growth come challenges. 10 News reporter Grace King joins us with the park's perspective. Every year, more and more people visit the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, but staffing hasn't increased. We simply can't take care of this park by ourselves. So we want people to leave no trace as a part of their visit. With more people in the mountains, the park is noticing more problems. We are experiencing more congestion, more resource impacts, and more wear and tear in our facilities. Infrastructure is one challenge park leaders say isn't adequately funded. Most of those systems were put in place in the 1960s when our visitation was at about 5 million people. So extrapolating trying to provide that level of service with the same infrastructure for now 14 million visits uh, is, is pretty daunting. That's where partner organizations like Friends of the Smokies come in. The park is free to visit, but it's not free to operate. Donors who give directly to the Friends of the Smokies, that money goes back to the park each year from request for all the different projects inside the park. Together, they hope to create a safe environment for visitors and the wildlife. We want them to responsibly recreate so that we do protect bears and elk and, and the scenic views and all of the reasons why people want to come to the Smokies. And again, if you do visit the park, rangers ask that you leave it how you found it so millions more can enjoy it for years to come. In the Great Smoky Mountains, I'm Grace King reporting. Last year, Congress passed the Great American Outdoors Act, which includes about $1.6 billion a year for projects on public lands and tribal schools. That does include the Smokies.